What's up guys, welcome to the video. Just a short one today and I wanted to do a voiceover on my leg workout for this week. So this workout that I did was, um, I wouldn't say it's the session I've been doing every single week, but all these exercises have been in my program now for probably since the start of 2017. So I always start off my session with a bit of foam rolling. Um, I didn't put it on camera, but then I go to activation for the glutes and some mobility for the lower back, hips and ankles as well. The first exercise that I did in this session was box jumps, as you're seeing now, and I did four sets of five. Um, so I'm not exactly sure on the height here, but really all I'm focusing on is quality reps. So taking relatively long rest between sets, because um, it is a neurological exercise, um, you're probably not going to feel that fatigued muscle-wise, but your central nervous system will fatigue as you go on. So that's also why you do that at the start of the session. Um, so as you can see, I'm really using my arms to drive momentum from the ground, rip the knees up, and then try and land soft. Um, so I did four sets of five here to start off the session. Um, as I mentioned, my warm-up was foam roller. I actually do the mobility before the activation. Now for activation, if you want to see what I do, I have another video on my channel um, called the Top 5 Activation Exercises for Your Glutes. Be sure to check that out because it's helped me um, immensely. Second exercise, I went to a band resisted back squat. So I think here we have 80 kilos. I think it's around 80 kilos or no, 100, sorry. Um, so using 100 kilos, just keeping the band around the knees to force the glutes to, to work a little bit harder. Um, focusing on pushing the hips back, knees right out against the band, getting as much depth as I can and then really forcing out on the way up to, to fire up the glutes. Um, and it's also a great way to, to train to train yourself to actually drive your knees out because if you don't, the band's going to pull your knees in. Um, so they were actually really tough. They were a lot harder than what I was expecting. And I'd only done the legs two days before this, so I was already relatively fatigued. The third exercise went on to sumo deadlifts. Um, so today, all I did was sets of eight at 140. And it actually felt relatively light. With the, with the deadlifts, ever since I hit the 200 um, a little bit earlier in the year, I've kind of just been playing around with different rep ranges, um, depending on how I feel on the day, but trying to keep my strength up um, to a degree. So as you can see here, the bar speed is pretty quick. Just trying to keep the bar straight, really sit back through the heels and drive my hips forward as quick as I can. I then went on to seated leg extensions. The, I kept the weight relatively moderate um, and did four sets of 20 here. So focusing on the squeeze at the top, as you can see at the top of each rep, trying to squeeze. I think this might have been the second or third set. So <laughs> as the set goes on, it does get a bit quicker. Um, but just going for high volume here. I didn't, I didn't want to push the weight too much because I'd already gone heavy early in the session. Um, also, just to give the knees a little bit of a rest, but um, I, I, I actually just wanted to kind of get a bit of a pump and um, and go to fatigue and pretty much failure. On the last set, I, I pretty much hit failure on those sets of 20. And then I just finished off with a single leg calf raise holding onto a kettlebell. Um, three sets of 15 to 20 reps here, and that's pretty much up, pretty much the workout, guys. If you want to see more videos like this, even though they're relatively short, comment below, give the video a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, please do. Um, hope you're having a fantastic day and you've taken some value from this video.